Hello everyone, my name is Relax and Panic and this is another reaction to Shokukiki no Suma. It is the fourth plate, it is episode 10 and we are doing something different today. Which means you will find my full reaction on here and my discussion afterwards, but you will not have a video here. It's not so easy to do that because it's all mirrored. Um, but you can either um, put in the video yourself if you have it at home or you can go down into my descriptions. There you will find, as always, the links to the reaction, to the reaction, including the original video, um, so you can see it if you want to. And the comments, which will be put at the end as well. So enjoy, and here we go. Okay, just have to make sure the microphone does not get the sound in. I'm so looking forward and I forgot to put in my book. Yep. What the heck? Yes, you will. <laughs> and I don't think so. Dude, man. Okay, they work together. Okay. Crap! I was kind of hoping they wouldn't do this. <laughs> they are competing! <laughs> yep. I agree to disagree. And now we have the intro. Oh my. So. I must admit, I'm a bit surprised how um, how much secondary characters grew into these into this season. Um, so copycat as example, right? He was. I, I really didn't think he would make such an impact, but he did. I mean, he was majorly important in my opinion. Really nice. And I'm still waiting for the old guys to jump into the frame. Waiting for this moment, you know, when they... It looked a bit like a victory thing. And I'm waiting for this moment as well. I, I think those will be possibly in this episode or the next one. If they put in the pictures at all. We don't know, right? Nope. That's a bit soon serving now. Mushroom meal for you.
I mean, how long did that take? That was like a minute? Hmm. Tang? <laughs> Ants. Well? Okay. Well, <laughs> wow. But I'm I don't know, man. I'm kind of hoping that being so fast, maybe Arena and uh, Yukihiro will adapt to that. <laughs> what a picture! What the heck? Okay. Does not look like much on the first view, right? Sure. Master of history. <laughs> Very crunchy. The white armor plate, <laughs> the white knight. Yep. He's good with venison. We know that. <laughs> I cannot eat it. It's too wonderful to look at. Why not? Go for it. Surely. Wow. <laughs> Everyone's laughing and floating around. Okay, you can see that. Yeah. Seriously? <laughs> Just by the fragrance, I guess. <laughs> what the heck?
Seriously. Always a good one, always a polite one. Okay, okay. I mean, it's a weird ability, right? I think it is a bit too much to say every, anyone could ever ask for. There's always something better. <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm. <laughs> noodles. Fried noodles. With egg. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I thought about it just in this moment. Come on, do it. I mean, the tentacles, it would be a great thing. It's like go out with a bang and smack him in the face. Yep, as always. So improve everything. <laughs> He's like, that's my first try. Okay, what should I improve? Okay, here's my second try. What should I improve? Okay. <laughs> He's using his strategy against him. <laughs> <laughs> Might be able. <laughs> That's nice.
And he didn't listen. Mm. I... Yep. <laughs> Evil. <laughs> Really looking forward. <laughs> it's a main dish. <laughs> That's not an appetizer. What? <laughs> oh, oh, it's not as big. I thought it was like that, but it's just like that, you know? It's possibly not meat. It's just... Inside is no meat. I'm pretty sure it's just the outside. So he just improved the uh, idea, as always. <coughs> That's clever. Because it plays on the view as well. And it is even adapting during eating. Nice. Yeah, he implements all the things he learned. Nice. Azani. He cannot lie. That's the cool thing about it. He cannot lie now because you see if he likes it. Okay. 
Yep. Almost. But he compared it to Tsukasa's. He did not compare it to Rindo's. We will see about that. Ah. Just wait for the main dishman. We can make something better. Wow, wow. <laughs> He's challenging her. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's like, ah, don't care about those. It's between us. I can see that. Okay. What a great episode! Okay, uh, I will skip the outro because I mean, I want to talk about it. So that's it from the reaction itself. And now we go into my comments. Um, those of you who have never seen this before, I will discuss about what happened. So here we go. Um, fourth plate, episode 10, right? I was kind of waiting for some glorious things to happen. I'm a bit surprised and maybe slightly taken down by the fact that um, the meal, the course of um, uh, uh, Rindo Senpai and Tsukasa was just shown so short. I, I was, I mean, I kind of expected that they would draw this battle into two episodes, maybe even three, like, you know, like um, really going into the details, what they're doing, really shining out um, why they these four that are competing right now are the best I, I think those four are the best right now in this school um and they didn't do that they they really jumped over uh the enemies they really jumped over rindo and even for tsukasa they just showed it very short so uh, the uh, i mean they showed us at least a bit why uh, those dishes are possibly special uh, Rindo's ability to use rare ingredients, in this case the ants poison, to enhance the food uh, is a nice thing and I like it and uh, very clever. But it was, you know, like here it is already. Oh, it tastes good. Why does it? Ant poison. Hmm. It, you know, it's just shortcutted there and I don't know why. Um, Tsukasa, they showed a little bit more. So uh, the idea of the salt crust, I can really see and, and uh, kind of taste it. The idea that it is crunchy, that it gets boiled inside of the crust, um, thus the flavor and um, everything of the moisture stays inside. I see that. That's a cool idea. I uh, um, There's a lot of food that is baked inside of a crust, baked inside of a bread or stuff like that, right? And it works very well. It's a nice thing. You have to have a high level to do that because... Um, I had the privilege and disprivilege, uh, kind of, uh, to eat something like that when I was in, in Dresden quite a while ago, um, multiple, many years ago, and um, in one of our Ratskellers, uh, which is a, um, uh, how to say that, uh, a restaurant, and 
beer garden kind of um in the basement in the uh, in underground of our um uh what is it called the Ratshaus. um courthouse not really you know the house that governs the city so um and they are known to have very good and um, normally the restaurants there are like the main restaurants in the city they uh, very expensive and everything and they had kind of a dish like that so you had a crust and inside you had a meat and stuff uh, the problem was the one half was really good and the other half was not finished so i had like the other half the crust was not completely baked yet so it was very more like you're eating yeah well it was not finished let's just say it like that so they screwed that one um and those are specialists those are really really um good chefs there so you see that even for those it's not easy to do it because when you take it out of the oven the outside will possibly always be like brown and crusty and you think okay it's finished but if you have a layer like that um it might be that it's not it just looks like and deeper on the inside it may even be cold so you have to have a very high level to get something like that done which Tsukasa clearly has um and he even improved it so much more so he brought out this um speciality the white armor plate with venison which is as we already learned uh possibly one of the hardest meats to cook and to master um so yeah nice um and this is speciality they once again showed him like cuddling uh with the animal so even um yukihira had to admit damn that's uh awesome and it is a major improvement to the one he had last time so we already knew the last time they had a shokugiki against each other um yukihira lost and now tsukasa improved even further so I like that, the fact that Yukihiro says, I cannot beat him alone. There's no chance. I, If I want to beat him, I um, need to use the golden tongue, which is the next one. And he even proves, because Azani said, even on a one-on-one -on -one competition, you would have lost against Tsukasa's dish. But that is an important one. He did not at all mention the dish of Rindo, because I think the dish that Tsukasa put out uh, Tsukasa, sorry, that uh, Yukihira put out, possibly won against um, the one from Rindo. And that's a major thing. So we have right now a one win, possibly, for um, Yukihira, for the team of Yukihira and Arena. And the other one is in the balance yet, because the dish is not done yet. If the dish from Arena can overtook, or m maybe even just get close to the one that Tsukasa has done, I think it will be a win, um, because the win of um, of Yukihira possibly has like some points additional on the one from Rindo. So it is about both dishes combined that are rated against the other both dishes combined. Uh, Azani said that he um, thinks Yukihira screwed this up by just going for his own dish. I do see, however, the um, the idea of Yukihira that he says we cannot win in the normal way against these dishes and especially against Tsukasa's dish. We have to create two bombs. We have to create two incredibly awesome meals so that in combination those two will be better. Um, I mean, it is a desperate attempt, right? And it happens due to the fact that he had to taste the one from uh, Tsukasa and he realized I, we will not win it with the plan we had. We have to adapt now. It's the only chance. If you know that, and we had that in the past, that um, other chefs tasted the food of example Yukihira and had to admit defeat. Here we have the benefit, and I talked about this in the beginning of the reaction, due to uh, Tsukasa and Rindo bringing out their food so fast. Yukihira and Arena can adapt and can change their style, can change their battle plan, and that is a major thing that hopefully will secure them the victory. So it's a good thing right now. Um, then we had uh, Azani's ability to undress people, so that he got from the Nakiri side of the family. Um, what the heck, man? Okay, but it's cool because he cannot completely lie. He cannot say this is garbage because if people around him are getting naked, we know that he liked it, right? So 
good taste is good taste. And I think that is why Grandpa said to do the um, judging for him, because you can take him over on the long run. Um, and Azani said something about the dish of Tsukasa. So he said, this is the superior dish. It is the dish, the best that could have been done at all. So he talks in um, uh, ultimate sentences. And I had to think about one thing. Only a cis talks in ultimates. <laughs> Just saying. Um, you should never say this is the best dish ever created or could ever be created. You know, it might be to this moment, but to say it is the best that can ever be, it takes out any option of any chef in the future being better. And it takes out the option that Tsukasa might improve as well. So that's just stupid. Because let's say let's say you, you cement that like that and you say as central, this is the best dish, everyone should be able to cook that. So we use a god tongue to create the abilities for everyone to create exactly this dish. There will never ever be anything better than this. But that means for Tsukasa as well, you've reached the end of the line. Here you are, you're, I don't know, how old is he, 20, 24, something like that, right? It's very, um, and there you go, that's it. No more improvement. You don't have to test anything anymore. You don't have to learn anything anymore. Um, you will just cook this one dish from now on forever because it is the best. Why cook anything else if you can create the, the best dish in the world over and over like a machine? And that's the thing about Central's ideology that we already discussed about is just stupid. There will always be better things and more things, right? And that's the cool thing about it. Um, so uh, <laughs> Yukira took over and uh, was about to create the appetizer. <laughs> and I was really hoping that he would bring in peanut butter and squid. Um, because that's a cool thing. I like it. It's, it's this very weird idea. And you have to see about it. Um, he did this with his father. And his father did the same as well. So his father is a chef, if not the chef. Even uh, Azani looks up to him. Always did in the past. And he loved this person and what he created. So if Yukihira's father finds a weird satisfaction in stuff like that. I mean there's a chance that Azani might find as well. And if not... If you already know you're losing, right, because you tasted Tsukasa's dish, what a way to go to say like, so you love tasting food, nice food, here go with something that you will hate. You have to at least taste once. <laughs> That's a mean thing to do. But he didn't, sadly, but it was okay. We want to win, so. But I liked the idea and they brought it in. Um, he took advantage of the god tongue, so um, uh, Central wants to do this in the long run and um, Yukihiro did it now but it was more about trust instead of just using right um, it's a bit of I, I can see the problem there a bit in the long run uh, we had that in the beginning already the the background of um, of the god tongue idea is that even as a kid and now as an adult growing up you are in many regards more like a machine people throw food at you and say taste this tell me what's to be better um which is a sad thing and um he has to use it here and now um but i think he although he's being a little bit mean there is a inlaying respect from yukihira's side so it's okay um he created this awesome caveman dish which i like it's a great idea um, so when I saw it first, I thought it was like one of those drumsticks, like the big one, you know, and you would have to hold it like that. But it's in the end, it's just like, you know, such as it's still big, but more small one. So it's maybe a bit much for an appetizer. Um, I would go with like the half of it, um, but it's okay because he did not only bring in something great, but it looked completely different from what it in the end is. So it's a play on view. That is something that modern cuisine does here from time to time. So um, uh, Irina um, possibly uh, <laughs> was, was delighted about that as well, I guess. Um, so he had on the outside, he had, um, what was it? 
bacon and he had the pate inside so it's this a very clever idea because bacon normally you have a like salty taste and the pate inside i guess is more like a sweets um so you have a mix of tastes and of um, feelings because it's more crunchy outside and incredibly soft inside um those mix of different flavors of different tastes of different feelings how the food is in your mouth how it behaves um it brings in like the ultimate combination and that was even Azani had to respect um the fact that there are so many different ideas flavors and everything inside one dish packed which seems impossible and was only possible due to the gobtong because she was able to balance this out without even knowing she did so you can see there the level of yukihira again because he did not use her to completely create it he just needed her to um prepare a balance and then he combined. Um, that's really, really good. Yes, right now it seems like it is a solo dish. And it's a real, really awesome solo dish. The question is, will there be an option to use the flavors and the ideas of this dish to combine with the second one they are creating now? Because now we are at the Shokugiki. Against the Gotong herself. Which means... He just told her, so I brought in something that is awesome by using you. And I challenge you now to create something better. I did create this with my knowledge and using of your tongue. Now create something better than my dish with your knowledge and the god tongue that you have. There you go. Um, and he said to her that the dishes she prepared are not her speciality. I guess he has like an inking what her speciality might be. And um, it does not mean she does it alone now. He is finished. So why not help her now? It is a team battle. She can use his abilities, his knowledge and skills to bring out the best dish she's possibly able to. And she already knows about the other dish. So she can build on that. And if you're really, really clever, you may even, I don't know, try to use the dishes that the enemy team used before. I mean, we've seen that in the past as well. So, really looking forward to where they are going now. It is a great idea. I like it. So, um, let's see what she brings to the table. That's it for me this time. I hope you liked. I did for sure. And I will see you in the next episode. Until then, my name is Felix and Panic. Goodbye and out.